Beyblade. When blading, place the stadium on the ground and keep an appropriate distance from the stadium. This is what we're introducing today. Sting Unicorn 560 GP. Here it is. It's a balance type bay. It has new parts, so let's take a look at them one by one. All right, we've disassembled it. Which part should we start with? Let's start with this, the ratchet. Let's go with the ratchet. It's a 560. Since it's a 60, it keeps the bay low. And these five blades are thick, which increases its centrifugal force and helps it spin longer. This color is really nice. It's a sting unicorn color, emerald green and a bit of almost translucent white. This is the color combination. Next is the bit, the GP bit. Looking at its shape, you can see the tip. On the flat part, there's a small protrusion. There's already a P bit, and depending on how you launch it, the movement changes. Isn't that revolutionary? Yes, it is. That feature remains. If you launch it in the center, it moves defensively and the point touches the stadium to perform a defensive movement. And if you launch it out towards the edge of the stadium, the flat side hits the surface, making it more aggressive. It retains the ability to switch between wild, aggressive movements around the stadium, depending on how you control it. Moreover, this bit has gears that extend all the way to the tip, making it easier to grip the stadium and more prone to catching on the accelerator rail, which enables more aggressive movements. It's a bit that enhances those aggressive movements. And finally, let's move on to the blade. This is the Sting Unicorn. It's a balance type blade. I see, Sting means to pierce. That's what it means. It's like a unicorn's horn or mane. This is represented by these two large blades. That's how it's designed. I see. These two large blades are separated on each side, but they seem to have completely different shapes. It looks like that way, doesn't it? Good observation. Yes, it's the biggest feature of this blade. First, this side resembles the unicorn's horn with a sharp serrated design, and the outer edge is jagged. It's shaped like this to be an attack type blade. I see. This jagged part attacks the opponent, deflecting them. On the other side, the smooth design resembles a mane. This part is also very slick and sleek and serves as a defensive blade. That's its role. This side deflects the opponents and keeps spinning. So it has two types of blades. Yes, exactly. So then it's a blade that features both types? Yes, it's a dual wield type. Wow, I really want to use this. By combining all these features, you get the Sting Unicorn 560 GP. It combines two capabilities, taking advantage of both the blade and the bit, making it versatile enough to handle any opponent as a balanced type A. All right, let's get straight into battle. Let's do it. All right, for this battle, I'll go with the Sword Drat, and I'll use Sting Unicorn to show both its attacks and defense modes. Let's go. Here we go. Three, two, two one, one, let, let it, it rip. rip. All right, Steam Unicorn has been launched. It's running wild using that GP bit to remain in the middle, using the defense blade to deflect and, and win with a survivor finish. Can I try one more time? Just one more time, please. Now I'll go with Helm Knight. All right, let's do it. I accept your challenge. Three, two, two one, one, let, it, let rip. it rip! Sting Unicorn, it's launched! It's absorbing the impact and defending. It's using the attack blade to deflect. Yes, yes, it's deflecting. It's dodging and deflecting just as it should. And now it's a knockout finish! Beyblade.